Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is um, it's six fifty seven uh, in the morning, uh, and I thought since today is supposed to be a very sunny day, uh, I would like to try to test out my uh, grid tie inverter again to see if it can run for fourteen hours straight. Now that is going to be from seven a.m. to nine p.m. The way I'm able to do that is because this grid tie inverter is uh, directly connected to my to my battery system. So it's not it's not directly connected to the solar. Uh, it's connected directly to batteries. So it's going to be draining my batteries if it's not really sunny outside. Uh, so at seven o'clock, this thing will be turning on. So let me go ahead and do a run through of how this is actually hooked up. Um, I have a little four inch fan. It's a it's an actually it's an AC fan, but it's a USB AC fan, so it only uses about 10 watts. And then here's my 600 watt uh, Y and H grid tie inverter. Um, and as you can as you can see, it's the plug the plug for that, and the plug for my fan. They go down here, and they plug in. To this power bar right here so there's the there's the fan and there's the grid tie inverter and then this goes over to here <clears throat> so you can see I have a, a Wi-Fi remote switch that's kind of like a timer and then I have a kilowatt back here and let's go ahead and unplug the kilowatt so that way we can uh, we can see how much how many kilowatts we get from 14 hours of continuous use at 100% from this grid tie inverter. If it actually if it actually runs that long, so without you know without burning up. So uh, let's go ahead and plug it in. All right. Total kilowatts is at zero, and and there we go. Everything's turning on. As you can see, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, it takes about five or ten seconds for the grid time inverter to actually uh, get into full operation. So let's check the kilowatt again. Still at zero, but watts, we're pushing 536 watts back into the house. All right, so I'm going to come down here uh, every couple hours to see how uh, see how everything is doing, make, make sure that the, the inverter is still on. Uh, this is going to be the first time I'm running it continuously for this long. Okay, uh, also what I wanted to show you is uh, it, right now it's 7.05 in the morning um, and my refrigerator actually just kicked in also. But that grid tie inverter uses about, about 680 watts of electricity from my batteries or from my system. Our battery right now is at 29%. Uh, if it's going to be a sunny day today, this is not going to be an issue. Uh, I have 2,600 watts of solar outside that, that should fill up my battery with no problem and having this grid tie inverter on for 14 hours. You know, right now we're only bringing in around 100 watts because it is 7 o'clock in the morning and it's uh, we're in Illinois. So we're actually discharging the battery at about 650 to 660 watts. So hopefully the sun starts coming out and we start seeing some progress. So... I'll keep you updated on this as well as the day goes on. Okay, it is a few minutes before 10 o'clock and I wanted to give you an update of how the system is running. As you can see, um, we've gone down to 9.7% in our battery. But um, the solar is really starting to kick up. It's up to you know 770, 780. 
So we're only discharging from the battery 135 watts now, 150 watts. So hopefully this holds tight and uh, starts increasing in the next three hours. Uh, but let's go. Uh, let's go make sure that the uh, grid time inverter is um, staying happy. Fans are running. It's not hot. So let's go check that out. Uh, yeah, everything is still running fine. It's not too hot. Fans are running good. Cabling. Cabling is a tad bit warm, but I mean, probably room temperature warm. Uh, let's see what our kilowatt says. It says that we've gained uh, 1.48 kilowatts in the last three hours. So we're going to kind of keep track of that and uh, I'll see what happens in the next three hours. If the, uh, if the battery shuts off, I'll definitely let you know that also. All right, see you in a bit. As you can see, it is a little bit after one o'clock. Uh, our battery is at 38.5%, but uh, yeah, we're getting now almost 1700 watts coming from the panels. Uh, and we're still pulling 660 watts from our system through the grid tie inverter. So let's go check that out and see how it's working. Okay. Looks exactly the same. Let's fill these wires. Yeah, wires are actually cooler than they were last time, which is odd. Uh, the unit itself, again, is staying nice and cool. The fan on this side is running right now as well as the four inch fan that's plugged into the AC. Oh, and this fan actually just turned off. So the fan, this fan over here, it seems like it's, it's uh, doing a very good job of keeping it keeping it cool uh, yeah wires going to my system are all nice and cool going to the outlet again nice and cool so this is I mean, this thing is running running like a champ so let's look at our kilowatt see what we produced looks like 2.95 kilowatts have so 2.95 kilowatts has gone into uh, and used by my house. All right, that's the one o'clock update. So I will come back at uh, four o'clock and uh, we'll see how everything's going. All right, uh, it is now four o'clock and uh, our battery is now at 63.4%. Uh, we're still bringing in a uh, thousand watts. Uh, we are still pushing out uh, around 640 to 650 watts that means that the uh, the grid tie inverter is still on it's been on uh, you know since seven o'clock this morning so we're going on hour nine uh, let's go ahead and look at the inverter again just to make sure everything's fine but I'm sure it is so let's go check it out okay well it looks like everything is exactly the same as it's been all day again you know, it's, it's, it's a tad bit warm. The fan in the back is running. Wires. Wires are still hand, hand cool. There's no big deal. This fan has no issues. Uh, circuit breaker is warm, but uh, it's been warm all day, so that's no big deal. Let's see what we've got for our kilowatt. Our kilowatt now says 4.36 kilowatts have been put into the house from the off-grid system. So that's going pretty good so far. All right, uh, again, I will see you at 7 o'clock, another three hours, and um, we'll see if this thing is still running strong. I believe it will be, but let's check it out. All right, bye-bye. Okay, everyone, welcome back. It is now uh, a couple minutes to 7 o'clock. It is 6.57. And what we're looking at is, um, yeah, so on this, on here, I just wanted to show that my battery is at 52.3%. Uh, it is still using, uh, you know, over 600 watts, 600, 700 watts. Uh, at 7 o'clock, I'm still getting 60 watts from my solar panels. So that's 
that's pretty impressive. Let's go ahead and check out the grid tie inverter again, just to make sure that it's not you know, in the other room uh, burning. So, um, yeah, let's go check that out. Okay, and uh, this is so uneventful because this thing is just working. It's it's you know it's it's warm it's warm to the touch but it has not heated up it's it stayed the same temperature this fan has kicked on and off but it's still the air is not hot by any means it's just warm it's about as warm as the outer case um, all the wiring I mean the wiring is it just feels like wire you know it's not hot by any means uh, circuit breaker is warm but it's been the same temperature all day again wires connected directly to my inverter um, they're a, a little bit warm but I think it's probably from the heat of uh, actually from the circuit breaker that's kind of transferring into the wire and uh, let's go ahead and look at our kilowatt our kilowatt says now that we've gotten 5.78 kilowatts um, pushed into our house so I'm going to go ahead and let this run for two more hours and uh, that will be 9 o'clock so that will be from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. and uh, we'll see what our total numbers are and I'll do a little math to figure out uh, the hourly amount that was pushed into the house. Alright everyone, well it is 8.59 and uh, this thing is still running just like it was when I first turned it on 14 hours ago and that's it it's now nine o'clock fans turning off inverter has gone back to off let's see what the kilowatt says oh. Kilowatt says 6.73. With everything this thing has been through, still hand warm, wires are cool, or room temperature. This thing ran like a champ for 14 hours straight, running at 100%, by the way. Yeah, it ran off, off of battery power, so it ran at at its peak of 600 watts for 14 hours. Uh, never had a hiccup. Let's go check out some numbers. Okay, after 14 hours, my battery is back down to 29.6%. Uh, you know, since it's nine o'clock, it's dark outside, so we're not getting anything from our panels. Uh, throughout this whole day, we produced 11 kilowatts and we consumed 11 kilowatts. Uh, let's go ahead and start this at 7 o'clock today. Production 11 kilowatts, consumption 10 kilowatts. Now that is great use of a grid tie inverter right there. Uh, let's also run some numbers. All right, 6.73 divided by 14 is 480 watts 480.7 watts so it looks like a 600 watt inverter uh, will actually produce 480.7 watts um, of electricity per hour that is about 80 percent efficiency um, and that's not really that's not really the best since it really it really takes about 630 to 640 watts of electricity to let's just say 630 so actually you're getting about a 76 percent return yeah so you're using 630 watts to get 480 watts back in your house. So you're basically losing um, 150 watts. So 
I would say that's, you know, that's not really the best, but when it's all, when it's all coming from the sun, I mean, you can't, you can't beat it. I mean, I got, I got 6.7 kilowatts of free electricity. I mean, you just can't beat it. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, you know, hit that like button. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing. It really helps out. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And everyone take care. Bye-bye.